Welcome to Global Connections, our groundbreaking TV magazine show. My name is Elizabeth Mbambi. Global Connections is all about international relations and the relationships which the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation has forged between Namibia and foreign embassies. So here are our Global Connections. And this week, we look at educational collaborations. Here are a few students which we've interviewed. They are exchange students, some of them from Germany and some of them from Namibia. Have a look. Standing here with me is Giovanni. He's an exchange student from Germany at the University of Namibia. And he's going to tell us more about himself and he's going to tell us about his experience. Giovanni, over to you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> good. The sun is burning. Yeah. How are you? Oh, so uh, you are enjoying the weather today? Yeah, today is nice. I actually, I came here and it was a bit uh, winter-ish. Okay. So it was weird to see, to come to Africa and have like minus four degrees at night. But now it's good. Summer's here. I love it. You, you, you are, you are getting to used used to the weather. Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Giovanni, tell us who is Giovanni. We would like to know who is, who is you. <laughs> <laughs> tell us more about yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, my name is Giovanni Di Girolamo. I'm from Cologne in Germany. It's Western Germany. Okay. And yeah, I study education there, and it's I think my third year. Before that, I did an apprenticeship and was like, yeah, kind of traveling the world and, and yeah, at different places in Germany. And now I'm here and yeah, ready to study. Mm -hmm. And the semester is almost halfway through, the test starts. It's getting intense now. You're going to write exams very soon. Very soon, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, if I may ask, I hope it's not a secret. Did you qualify for the exam? So how does it look so far? Um, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> like the online tests were working out fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're working out fine. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I qualified. Yeah. You think you qualified? Because yeah. one thing that I found when I, when I spoke to other students, um, exchange students from Germany, they mentioned the fact that uh, the system is a bit different. The educational um, system is a bit different from from Germany. Our system is a bit different. Mm. That you need to qualify for the exams. Mm. Uh, in Germany, you don't need to qualify for the exams. You just write exams. But like in Namibia, you need to qualify for the exams. In, is it the same with everybody? Or in, in Germany, you you don't qualify through tests. You qualify through like uh, achievements, like basically writing an essay or something. But at some classes, you don't have to qualify at all. That's right. Um, so it really depends on the lecturer. Oh, okay. And yeah. So boom, they get surprised you with the test, with the, when they no, it, it's actually a bit more organized in Germany. You get a course outline and then everything happens on the day where it's supposed to be. So <laughs> here I had the experience that um, in the course outline the test was on Friday, but it was written on Saturday. You wouldn't have that. It's a bit, you know, everything is very accurate. Yeah. I like your honesty. Yeah. But honestly, I, uh, that's where the beauty lies, you know, it's part of the deal and it's, um, you know, it's nice to see other things and other, yeah, ex to have this experience. Like, oh. yeah, it's nice. It doesn't mean it's bad or worse, or, you know. Yeah, so it's just different from what you yeah. are accustomed yeah. to or what you're used exactly. to. Exactly. So how, since you mentioned experience, Giovanni, how has your experience been so far in Namibia from the day that you landed to where you are standing with me now? Yeah, yeah. How, how is it been? I honestly, I really enjoy my time here and mm. I, I, I feel strong. I feel good. I, you know, like uh, the people are very friendly. Um, my landlord's helping me a lot, of, like introduced me to people and mm. like went on hikes and yeah, people at uni did just come up to you and ask you how you are and if you want to spend time with them. So I, I really have the best of the experience so far. Like I really enjoyed my time and yeah, summer is coming, travels are coming, so I'm looking forward very So much. you're gonna do more travels? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I want to oh. see this beautiful country. I've yeah. seen already a little bit, Etosha and Spitzkopf, mm -hmm. whatever. And so yeah. you want to see more? Yeah, for sure. I want to see the whole country. Ah, I'm sure yeah. you're gonna see the whole country. And I'm um, and, and by the look of things that you are well taken care of. 
Mm. And um, the other thing that I want to know, what are, what are the one, two, three, four, or five things that you've picked up about, about the culture here, the hobby, the hobbies, the habits? What do you think uh, um, the culture is in Namibia besides Kapana? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one, actually, yeah. because I mean. I feel like the people are very direct. Like they, they walk up to you and they, you know, no. try to be friendly and you know, in, in whatever ways, you yeah. know, you probably can imagine. But um, yeah, I, I love the food culture. Like yeah. you know, eating with, with my hands and eating the pop and you said kapana and the chicken. And I, I I really like that. You know, sitting around sharing meals with people. Um, yeah, I, I actually didn't have that many big culture shocks. Okay. Like yeah. One was maybe uh, a few days ago. Um, we were at the parking lot, and there were like some some um, Himba women, yeah. and just living like so next to like civilized, um, yeah, to a civilized city, and like this yeah. like flowing into each other was really interesting to see. But other than that, I yeah, no big culture shocks. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. um, I'm glad that you at least picked up one or two, three things, mm. and. I'm glad that you experienced Kapana and I'm glad that you experienced the traditional chicken. Kapana is the best. Kapana is the best. Honestly, it's the best. Uh, How did you find the beef here? How do you find the beef? How did you find the beef? It's like, I I don't usually eat a lot of meat in Germany because, yeah, yeah, it's um, kind of eco friendly not to do. And it's, yeah, you know, like like animals getting slaughtered and like mass uh, destruction slaughterhouses. And, yeah, but here I've been eating a lot of meat because it's so good, you know, and <laughs> I I, know. it's also part of the culture, so yeah. I don't want to deny it. So yeah, I've been enjoying my biltong, my, my, yeah, my steaks whatsoever, yeah. I, yeah. I, I tried to be a vegetarian once, but I'm like, and I am being a vegetarian in my own country. So yeah, I it's difficult, do. <laughs> it's difficult, yeah. Our meat is one of the best, if yeah. I have to say that, yeah. okay. Um, Giovanni, um, any final remarks? Mm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, if you guys get the chance to visit Namibia, come to Namibia. Also, if you get the chance to like move out of Namibia as a Namibian yeah. and explore something different, yeah. um, you should you should take your chances upon, yeah, and just be open to explore new new cultures, new countries. I gotta say, I've, I've interviewed um, um, quite a few or quite a number of German exchange students mm-hmm. and I think I know where my uh, where my next destination is. Yeah. I think I want to go to Germany. Yeah, come to Cologne. <laughs> Cologne is the most beautiful city of Germany. You will love Cologne it. Cologne is the most beautiful yeah, city. Yeah. Is it cold? Uh, in summer it's warm. In winter it's not too cold. It's all right. It rains a lot. Oh, okay. But it's a beautiful city. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah, city. You will like it. I will definitely Google it and I will see how it looks like. But I think Germany is my next destination. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much, Giovanni. It was really nice having you. I hope you're gonna enjoy your experience in Namibia, and I hope you get to travel, and you know, go go become a storyteller when yeah. you get back home. Yeah. And will. and I hope when you when you are out, when you you're gonna come back and visit us again, and I'm glad that you are enjoying the experience here in Namibia. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Yet another session of Global Connections, and this is our educational collaboration. I am here with Carolina. She is an, an exchange. She was part of the exchange student program, and she's gonna tell us more about herself and about her experience. Carolina, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Elizabeth? I'm good, Carolina. Who is Carolina? I would like to know who Carolina is. So I am Carolina Schombe, mm-hmm. and I am a third-year sociology student from the Faculty of Humanities and Social Science in the University of Namibia. Oh, okay. That's that's awesome. And um, uh, that's awesome. I, I like what you are studying. That's why I'm saying, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Carolina, I would like to know, um, you were part of the exchange program. How did you apply? How were you, how were you chosen? So b- before we get there, I, I want to know. So meaning that you are from Namibia and you went to go study outside the country. You were part of the exchange program outside Namibia. So how did you apply? How did you become part of the exchange program? What happened? What is the process? What are the processes? Well, um, when I first applied, 
Oh, actually, I didn't know that there was something like that in the University of Namibia that exists. Okay. So, uh, one day I was in the dining hall, sitting in a dining hall, and then I met a student by the name Morgan, and she introduced me to this program. She told me she went for action programs in the Czech Republic. So, she um, told me to follow the International Union page on Facebook. So, the same day I followed the International page, on uh, the UNAM International page on Facebook, and uh, after a week or yeah, after a week, they advertised um, the exchange program. The the, the exchange they, they advertised. Excuse me, they advertised the exchange on their page, and they needed three students to go like um, the beginning of the year 2023. So what they needed is um, a motivation letter on why you want to go there, why do you think you'll be the best student. And also the academic record, which was supposed to be over 60% in every course. And I tried my best. I, I wrote my motivation letter and then I submitted my with my academic records. And after a month or two months, I was selected for the program and I started getting it. Wow. So you want to tell me that you cannot just be an exchange a student like that you you also need to perform well academically exactly you need to perform like you need really to be a good student so you need to be a hard-working student because they wouldn't want to send someone who is going to disappoint them and come back with failure or something and also uh, other than that you have to be your personality also they need to send someone who is able to go through challenges and come out so we, it's safe to say that you become an ambassador for the university, yes, for the University I, of Namibia. Yes, I'm proud to say that. <laughs> you are an ambassador for the University of Namibia. I, I'm sure they were. Um, it was an honor for them to send you because you being here, meaning that you did what you were supposed to do. And uh, just just a quick one, Carolina. Uh, where, which university, which country did you go to? So um, I travel to the University of Radius Kralove in the Czech Republic. Uh, come again, Radius? Radius Kralove. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll try that some other time. Okay, and uh, in the um, Czech Republic. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, and so Carolina, another one. Um, tell us how was your experience in the other country. How was the, your experience at the in institution, at the university? How was your, your experience in the country? We just want to know, for interest sake, maybe there's someone that would like to go there. So how was your experience there? Well, my experience was really amazing. Um, but if, if I remember, I remember everything very well. The beginning was quite hard because I had to get, I had to get used to the transport in Europe because it's very different from transport in Africa. But other than that, everything was amazing. I had the, an opportunity to, 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 to attend classes at a, a diverse university with diverse courses. And I honestly really liked their education system. It's so flexible and it gives you time to study for the next lesson and it helps others to they focus on discussions for everyone in the class to understand. So what do they like doing? Do they like um, reading a lot? What is the culture? Do they, they, do they like reading? Do they like swimming? Like in Namibia, maybe we can say that we like going to Kapana. That's one thing that make, make us stand out. And I, I just want to know what is this one thing that they are famous for? What are they famous for? And um, in terms of language, also, what what are, what is the the language, the common, the, the language that they speak, that everybody speaks, that they people can understand each other with the local language? This is the local language. So I would definitely say Europeans like traveling. They respect traveling so much, and they like going out. They not like going out to dangerous places or something. They like engaging in, in, in places, uh, meeting in places where they can get an opportunity to engage and get to know each other because they are open-minded people. 
And in terms of the language, the most spoken language is Czech, which is their official language. Some people speak English, but it's mostly just the young people and like in the big cities like in Prague, which is the capital city. So um, it was really a big problem. I had to learn the language and I learned their language for five months. So I was doing studying it in the university because I guarantee you, you have to know their language because, because sometimes you are, yes, sometimes you don't have internet, you are lost or something. As an, it, it, it's, it's really, you are, when you are an international student, you really have to be up for everything. You have to learn and because you have to ask people, you have to socialize with people. You cannot just be in your room 24 seven because you are in a foreign country and you need to learn more. So I learned their language. So you can speak. Yes. How do you say hi? Ahoy. <laughs> how do you say how are you? Oh, uh, yak so much. Yak so much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some a few some lessons from you. And um, any final remarks, Carolina? Because I believe there's someone out there watching, and um, you know they are being inspired by your experience. And if there are any final remarks that you would like to. Yes, yes. Share with anybody who give us. Um, well, I honestly do not have enough words to express it all. But just in case, if you make it someday through this program, I have got a piece of advice for you. Take it easy on yourself, enter conversations with an open mind. And just like me, you'll never be the same again. This experience will set your soul on fire it will make you braver it will expand your mindset and it will elevate your dreams thank you so much wow thank you so much carolina it was nice having you it was nice chatting to you and i'm glad that this experience made you a different person and you are not the same carolina that left namibia you came back different and i'm really i wish you nothing but the best and do you look forward do you, do you think that you will go back there again or what do you think after you came back how is your mindset do you think that you might go back there or you might travel when you are done with your studies what, what how is your mindset now well i am really hoping and working so hard to get back because i would, I would say um it makes it easier to leave the a bit easier to leave the and right now i am proud to say that i am working on my internships applications and if i am lucky i might have to go back early november this year Wow, we're so happy for you, Carolina. <laughs> Yet another session with Global Connections. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Bambi and standing here with me is Zoe. She's going to tell us about uh, herself and what she's doing here and her experience here. She is a student at the University of Namibia, so I'll give it over to her. Zoe, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm Zoe and I'm from Germany. I'm an exchange student here at UNAM um, for one semester, yes. Um, so Zoe, how are you finding the experience so far? I really like it, especially the people. They are very friendly and welcoming and yeah, open-minded. That's really what I like. Oh, wow, I see you're still enjoying yourself. You are having fun? Are you having fun? Don't let me be the one to decide for you, but let me ask you. Are you having fun? Are you still enjoying Namibia? Are you enjoying the University of Namibia? Tell us. Yes, I, I really enjoy being here. And it's a great privilege, I think, to get to know another culture and other people. It's really nice. Oh, wow. I can see. I can see. I even see that you had your hair done. <laughs> you, <laughs> you look so nice. I really like it. You look so nice. And um, I wanted to find out, Joey, about your experience. So, about, yeah, experience. How did you apply to become a part of the exchange student program? And why, why Namibia? Why the institution of, why um, the University of Namibia? And why did you choose Namibia? So, um, on my university at um, Germany, yeah. um, I found uh, a website where we have like different exchange programs and mm -hmm. I really was interested in um, going to Namibia. Mm -hmm. um, so, I applied for going to, to Namibia, to Yunnan. Mm -hmm. um, I think especially what uh, the university has 
as um, its mission and vision was very appealing for me. Okay. So yeah, I thought about doing it. Mm. Wow. So Zoe, the experience in Namibia. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking in a, uh, I'm talking about classes. Mm -hmm. The experience that you are having in Namibia in terms of classes compared to the experience that you have in Germany. Is it different and how is it different? How do you how do you find the lectures here? Okay. Um, yes, it is different um, because um, we are used to have one big exam at the end of one semester. Okay. And, but here is more like um, that is continual, continually. Um, yeah, they ask you to do tests and um, assignments. So um, it's a different type of how you work, yeah. but it's um, still very adapting. Oh, I still very adapting. So it means that um, in Germany, what happened is you attend your classes and then there's an exam date and you need to show up and write exams and you pass or you fail. But here at the university, uh, at the University of Namibia, you need to qualify for the exams in order for you to write exams. So that's the difference. Exactly. Exactly. I think I think I would rather prefer to qualify for the exams. In as much as it's a it's an opportunity for everybody, but I think I prefer that because oh, to be surprised with an exam like that. I think if you if you um busy with assessment, it at least gives you time to prepare it's like you do revision. And I think that's a thing that I like. But I think maybe it could also work for me if I go to Germany and I also experience. But I'm glad that you are adapting very, uh, very well. Have you made any friends, any new friends? Yes, oh, I do. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm very thankful for my friends here. <laughs> <laughs> any activities? Which activities have you taken part in? Uh, where did you go? Special places? Have you gone hiking, fishing? What are the activities that you've, um, that you've done so far or taking part in so far in Namibia. <laughs> Are there that many? <laughs> uh, that's, that's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I mean, I mean going, if, okay, let me ask you, have you tried single quarters yet? No. You haven't tried single quarters yet? No. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look for your friends and I'm going to ask them what are they doing <laughs> because it's supposed to be because for us in Namibia, the, the, the uh, highlight of the city is single quarters, is um, where you taste meat and different types, not different types of meat, where you eat beef that's being prepared on the braai, so we call it kapana, it's in Katutura. Uh, oh yeah, I have been there. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't okay. Recognize. Yeah. Okay. No, that's an activity, and I mean that's that's something that you you know you can brag about if I have to say. Mm -hmm. um, so one last question, Zoe. No, second last question. How do you find the food here? Um. Yeah, I like it, but it's also very different <laughs> from what I eat in Germany. <laughs> uh, because it's, it's very much me. Yeah, there's a lot of meat here. Right? Yeah. We love meat. Yeah, that's uh, in Namibia we love meat. Yes. So compared to Germany, there's a lot of meat here. People love meat. Here. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. But I, I, I'm just, I, I'm just glad that you are adapting very well. Any final remarks, Zoe? Anything you would like to say? Any final remarks to anyone back home here in Namibia? What would you like to give them? What, what would you like to tell them? Sorry. Okay, I would um, I would say like um, that I love you very much and I'm very thankful to be here. And also, um, I think what one of the most important mes mes messages I can give is that Jesus is King and whoever calls upon His name will be saved. Wow, wow. No, thank you so much. Appreciate that. So we will definitely look forward to see you again and interview again. Thank you so much. Thank Zoe. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.